We're going to recap rounding with whole numbers. To get a picture of what rounding is, if, say, for example, we know that there were 2,835 people at a gathering, we might choose to just tell someone, well, there were about 3,000 people at that gathering. If we needed to be a little bit more precise, we might say there were about 2,800 people at that gathering. And that's all rounding is. It just allows you to almost give a more digestible form of the number. And depending on how precise you need to be, you round off to a different place value. OK, so let's look at how that happens. If we needed to round 33 to the nearest 10, let's first just make sure we know what 10s are. So let's count up in 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And we're being asked to round 33 to the nearest 10. So we are being asked which of those 10s that you see there is 33 nearest to. It's as simple as that. And you should be quite clear that 33 sits about there. And so it should be fairly obvious to you that 30 is the 10 that it's nearest to. But let's just look at that in a little more detail. We know that it lies, 33 lies between 30 and 40. And we know the halfway mark between 30 and 40 is 35. Where is 33? It's sitting below the halfway mark. So it's fairly obvious that it's going to take a lot more to get from 33 to 40 than it is to get from 33 to 30. And so rounding 33 to the nearest 10 will give you 30. If we're asked to round 471 to the nearest 100, again, we just need to be clear on what hundreds are. It's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, etc. So all we're asking is 471. Which of those hundreds is it closest to? And the answer to that is fairly clear. Which hundred is 471 closest to? It should be fairly obvious to you the answer to that is 500. But again, let's look at the detail. If you looked at the 400 to 500 area, which we know 471 sits in between, where's the halfway mark? It's at 450. So when you've got a 5 in that 10s position, 450, that's the halfway mark. Anything above that will go up to 500. Anything below that will be rounded down to 400. 471 obviously sits over there, so you can see it'll go up to 500. What's important is that 7 in the 10s place, because the 7 in the 10s place is what puts you above the 450. The one in the units place doesn't really matter because anywhere around the 470 area is still going to go up to 500. If you had 479, 473, doesn't matter. It's the seven in the tens place that counts. And this is what we're going to use to do all our rounding. For example, if we were asked to round 2,835 to the nearest 1,000, we need to take a look at what's happening in the hundreds place. And we see that in the hundreds place, there is an 8. 2,835 lies between 2,000 and 3,000, but the 8 in the hundred means it's above the halfway mark, so it'll be rounded up to 3,000. What about if you were asked to round it to the nearest 100? Well, in this case, you have a look at the tens. And you know that you're going to lie between 2,800 and 2,900. But with that 3 in the tens, you're lying behind, but below the halfway mark. And so you will round down to 2,800. And then if you were asked to round to the nearest 10, you would look at what's happening in the units. And in the units, you've got a 5. Now, this is an unusual case because you know that 5 is actually the halfway mark, right? You know you're going to be somewhere between 2,830 and 2,840. But at the moment, you're, when you're at 5, you're exactly at the halfway mark. And in this case, the rule simply is if you're at the halfway mark, we just round up. And so we'll go up to 2,840.